What's up guys, my name is Jay and in this video I'm going to show you how to make WordPress a little bit harder for your clients because you know that sometimes they think that they can do everything. A friend sent me this article which is awesome by Emerson and then I emailed Emerson because I wanted to make this video and he told me go for it. I'm gonna post that link right below so you can actually go there, read it, you can copy and paste all the code or whatever you wanna do, right? So I'm gonna go here to my dashboard and the first thing I want to do is get rid of this editor. Okay, if you click here on editor, you can edit, um, you know, like the footer, the pages. So I'm gonna go to my editor here. This is uh, my WordPress folder and I'm going to click on functions.php, right? I'm gonna scroll all the way down right here. I am not going to touch all this info or anything, just go all the way to the bottom. And I'm gonna add a simple code provided by WordPress. It's just a line of code, okay? So it's defined. I'm, don't worry, I'm gonna add this code right below in the, in the description so you can get it from there. Everything that I'm doing here, I'm gonna add it in the description so you can get everything from there, okay? So don't worry. All right, so in here, I'm going to disallow, file, edit, then comma, true. That's it guys, that's it. I'm gonna save it. Let's see if we, oops, sorry. Let's go back to the dashboard. And uh, yeah, the editor is not there. Perfect, just perfect. All right, so now what I want to do is I don't want my client to have access to my settings and tools or maybe, you know, something specific that you don't want him or her to have access. All right, so I have here uh, a functions re a reference by WordPress and you can scroll down a little bit and then here, you can see they have a function to remove menu page. Okay, I'm gonna post this URL on the description so you can go here. Okay, so as you can see, we have remove page index, remove the dashboard, this is going to remove the post, this is the media, pages, comments, plugin settings. So we have a couple good options right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna copy this whole code right here and now I'm gonna go back to my uh, functions.php and I, I'm gonna go to all the way to the bottom and I'm gonna paste it right there. Now, be careful. Remove the question mark PHP and right here the question mark, remove those because if not, you're gonna get an error and you don't want that. Okay, so right now this code, this function is telling us that we are, we are gonna remove the, the dashboard, the, the post, media, pages, comments, all this stuff right here. Okay, so I'm gonna save it. Let's see what happens. Let's go back to the dashboard. Let's see. And there you have it. Everything is removed. Of course, I have the contact because it's a plugin and, and it's not by WordPress, but actually you can remove it. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Okay, so everything is uh, removed, but I don't want to remove everything because maybe your client want to create some articles and write stuff, right? So I'm gonna go to here to my to the posts. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a double slash. So right now it's commented and it's not going to affect that specific line of code. So I'm gonna save it. 
let's see. And there you, you go, we have the post back, so our client can go there and create the articles, but that's it. Now, here's the deal. Maybe you want to have everything, because right now this is for everybody. It's like, remove this for everybody. So, you as an admin, you want to have access to everything right there. All right, so I'm going to go back here and WordPress is telling me to remove menus for only certain users. You may want to use this. I'm going to click there and here we have this code right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this one right here. I'm going to go back to the functions.php and down here when it sets action, that I add actions and it actually triggers this code, I'm going to create an if statement. Okay. So if right there and inside here, I'm going to paste the code. I'm going to remove that just like this, create some brackets and close the brackets down here, right? So it's something like if the user have this capability, do this, okay? Now here's the deal. I'm gonna add here, let's say editor. So if the user is editor, then do all this, okay? If the user is not an editor, then nothing's gonna happen. So I'm gonna save it. Let's see what happens. Let's go back to the dashboard. And we have everything back because we are an admin. We are not an editor. So if I change this to administrator, for example, if the user is an administrator, do all this. So I'm going to save it and let's see. There you go. You have it. Now I'm going to show you how to remove this contact. This is uh, from contact form seven plugin. Every plugin is a little bit different, but you can search it. They always have a lot of information on how you can do this. So it's the same thing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this one right here. And I'm going to say, I'm going to put here contact form. And right here, I think is uh, WordPress contact form seven. I think it's something like that. And that's it. Let me save it and let's take a look at it. Yeah, that's it. All right, guys. So I hope this helps. I'm going to post this code in the description so you can copy and paste it, play with it, go to the article because uh, Emerson have a lot more information here, tips and tricks that you can do for that, even media images, um, you can actually edit what the client will see here. So a very interesting stuff. Thank you for watching guys. See you next week. Bye.